All right, here's a video review for NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the 1990 movie edition, one quarter scale, Leonardo. This is the third turtle up. Please feel free to check out my Michelangelo and Donatello video if you so choose. And then I do have Raphael coming soon, and he'll wrap up the NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle series that I'm doing right now. So here is Leonardo. He comes in the same box as the others. It's a quite large box with the clear plastic window on the front. You get the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie poster with them coming out of the shell. You get product shots on the side. Both sides actually. Here's the other side. Nice picture of Leonardo and one there, and then on the back, more product shots, him in various poses, bio about him, and then the group shot. And as I said in the Donatello video, if you look at the bottom of the box, specifically the serial number, you can see the last two digits tell you that it's a 2017 release and the original release which for Leonardo, similar to Donatello, the new releases have a little slightly different bandana headband color. So if you want the original light blue for this figure, uh, that this is the version you want to go for. He comes with his katana blades, which are painted to uh, they kind of have a nice worn metal look. They are plastic, but they look... They look really nice. Comes with two of those, as you would expect. And then in the box, he's got three alternative sets of hands, a slice of pizza, and the canister of ooze. Which, one complaint on the boxes I have, which I may have mentioned, is that you have to rip open the side uh, plastic piece where the accessories are stored in order to get them, so it doesn't really lend itself that well to storing the accessories if you don't want them out of the box. Uh, so here is the figure. I'll attempt to bring him in close. He is quite heavy and quite large, but I think they absolutely nailed on all of them, but especially Leonardo, the head and face sculpt. Love the eyes, love that, you know, big nose, which is, you know, very indicative of Leonardo. You have the nice painted mask, you get the raised um, kind of scaly texture on the face. The bandana on the, the back and the knot is cloth, which is very nice, a little like stretchy cloth. Very nice spots, the green coloration. You have like glistens, a little bit of indication of sweat. I love the straps on the belt for Leonardo. The, the front of the shell has kind of a softer material, nice big thighs, the knee pads, and his, and his toes are painted. I'm looking at him from the side, you got the elbow pads, the wrist pads, more spots. You know, the shell just looks great, top to bottom. And then each shell of each of the turtles so far have been, it's been a little different, whether it has some slash marks, some scratches, or the pattern itself. And then you got a nice big holsters for the katana blades. Nice like stitching and or ties, make it look like it's strung there. So yeah, he's, he's really cool. You got like a little slash in the belt, the, the paint job, the coloration. Is, is amazing on these. And like I said, very heavy figure. They're probably about, four, I think they're about four pounds. Um, so be careful if you have them on your shelf, if they do fall, you know, they're pretty sturdy, but if they do fall, they're gonna fall hard. Uh, my second version of Donatello that I had did actually fall off my shelf at one point. Fortunately, it didn't break, but just, just a forewarning there. Uh, as far as articulation, Try to go through that. They all have the same articulation, but the tolerances are a little different on each one. Uh, so the head, the head can turn all the way around. It can look 
down quite a bit, which is nice. And then it can look, look up a little bit, which is cool. It's on like a ball joint, so you get a little bit of side to side tilt as well, which is, which is a nice, nice touch. Uh, the, tor the torso is loose in the shell, so it can, you know, kind of wiggle, wiggle around, which is nice. The arms can turn all the way around. They can go out to the side a couple clicks, like so. You get a rotation at the elbow, you get a rotation at the wrist, and you get a hinge movement at the wrist. One of the alternative hands has a different, different hinge, which is nice. You get a thigh rotation, you get a nice ratchet out to the side, you get ratchets forward, which really tight on him, make kind of a scary sound. And then they can go back a little bit. The knee ah, bends about 45 degrees because of the knee pad gets in the way there. The ankle has a swivel and a up and down there and then a rocker, you know, so you get all the all the different articulation that you'd want, especially from a very large figure like this. Um, so stand him back up here and hope he doesn't hope he doesn't fall. He can uh, these katana blades can store nicely in the back holster. So if you just take them like so and see it there put it in and it looks nice and it looks nice from the from the front as well and then he can hold it quite sturdy in his hand just wiggle it in and there he has he's holding his katana blade with one stored in the back so like i said really nice figure and I'm very happy with this set. I mean, these guys just look amazing. They look like they just stepped out of, from the screen into your home. Get this head back down here. I'm gonna see if I can fit Donatello on there with him. Let me get a size comparison here. See two of two of the turtles together. Let's see if he will stand for me here. <laughs> looking at Leo. You can see how the, the set is shaping up. Um, and then Michelangelo, since my video actually got the first release Michelangelo, I had the second release. The, the new release is a little, little darker, darker tone and the, a little more vibrant, the orange on the bandana. So you can see there the, the set shaping up, you know, three down, one to go. Like I said, Raphael, and I'll hopefully have that one, you know, in the near future. So as always, thank you for liking these videos. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. Thank you for leaving any comments. Feel free to leave any comments you have. I'll try to respond to them or at least like them. And Thanks for watching and I'll see you at the next video review. Thank you.